crowd. Let me see. Who the hell gonna stop Russell Westbrook? Steph Curry, I, I, I ain't got nothing but love for you, bro. Nobody can stop you. But you can't stop Russell Westbrook. Chris Paul, a superstar. You, you, you can't stop Russell Westbrook. Tony Parker, oh, no, 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 no. You have no answer for this man. You give me two stars that can put the ball in a hole at will. I'm rolling with them. My pick is Oklahoma City to meet Cleveland in the NBA Finals. Skip and Stephen A's picks for the West face off tonight in OKC when the Thunder host the Spurs on Can't ESPN. Wait. In case you didn't hear me, mm, Bart's got voice. Mm. Stephen A, convince Skip why you're picking the Thunder over his Spurs in the West, please. Well, first of all, let's understand we don't lie to uh, the American people on this <laughs> show or the folks I internationally do. who view us. Anybody who knows anything about Skip knows there's no convincing him. He's the most hard-headed individual that you'll find. He's got a rock on top of those shoulders mm -hmm. of his. He's not budging. Nobody's going to convince him to see it. No matter how logical, sensible, factual they are, Skip is as hard-headed as they come. There's no convincing him. Let's get that out the no way. No comment. Now that we've done that now that we've done that exercising futility no doubt I will make this case the San Antonio Spurs as lethal and as legitimate as they are are also old now we have said this about them on many occasions and I do get that but at some point in time father time comes knocking and when it hits you when he hits you it's usually minimal warnings that come your way it just hits you, and all of a sudden, you just wake up one day and you say, damn, I'm just not what I used to be anymore. It's just that simple. You're going up against not only Russell Westbrook, the reigning league scoring champion, and an assassin of the highest order as ruthless of a basketball killer that exists in the NBA, but then you couple that with a guy in Kevin Durant who only played 27 games last year, still averaged 25, by the way, but only played 27 games, had people questioning whether or not his career was ever going to be the same, wondering himself whether or not he was going to get healthy and be able to play, and now he's back doing his thing. I think that he's going to be hungry. I think Russell Westbrook is going to be hungry. I think Serge Ibaka is one of the elite defensive players in the game. I think the Enos Cantors of the world, Steven Adams of the world, especially Steven Adams, gives you a bad boy, a level of physicality, and a part of Enos Cantor. You've got a guy that can average 18 and 10 for you. I'm looking at their bench. I'm looking at them combined with their youth, their athleticism, their perimeter shooting, their speed. All of those things taken into consideration, I believe, and their familiarity, by the way, with San Antonio because they're accustomed to going up against one another. A dogfight, no doubt, there will be. But if there is one team I think the San Antonio Spurs do not want to face, it is the Oklahoma City Thunder. I believe the combination of Westbrook and Durant not having to really deal with Aldridge and Tim Duncan down low because they could both pull up from the outside or run up and down the court all day long. I think their skill set puts them in a position to be the kryptonite to the San Antonio Spurs more so than anybody else in the Western Conference, and that includes Golden State. You know what? I completely agree with your bottom line. The number one fear factor in San Antonio, the team they dread playing in the Western Conference Finals the most, no doubt it's the Oklahoma City Thunder. Why is that? Because if San Antonio plays its best and the Thunder happen to play their best and hit on all cylinders and stay out of each other's way and click, the Thunder will win. But the, the problem is that there's one team that can beat the Thunder and that's the Thunder. And that's my issue. And I'm, I'm going back to the, the most shocking thing you've said to me in a long time on this show was you picked Russell Westbrook to be the MVP this year in this league. Kevin Durant, obviously going back a couple of years ago, won the MVP. And it was shocking to me because I cannot imagine Kevin Durant, I, I don't want to say that, that he would, you know, he wouldn't resent it if Russell won the MVP. He just... He just wouldn't allow it because there's not enough room for Russell to win MVP. I'm sorry. 
the, the, there's one person on earth who can stop Russell Westbrook, and that's Kevin Durant, because they're co-superstars. And I, I love them both in a vacuum. This one in a vacuum, this one in a vacuum. They're two of the top five players, just as our ESPN ranking said yesterday. Heck, you can make a case when Kevin's right, he's, he's better than LeBron in a lot of ways. But they get in each other's way. And Kevin, as we all know, and he's, I've talked about this for years on this show, Kevin's nature is unpredictable to me. Some days he's an ambassador for basketball, and the next day he's not nice Kevin Durant. His emotions rise and fall. His moods rise and fall. He's a little tricky to play with. Russell's always a 1,000 miles an hour. He doesn't look to the right or to the left. And sometimes I believe, and I have heard, that it wears on Kevin, and I don't blame him. And I think that's a reason that Kevin would consider leaving Oklahoma City. He's just not sure there's enough room for both of them in that town of Oklahoma City. And to, to me, it's such a troubled dynamic. Not that they hate each other because they, they off the court, they like each other. I just, I'm just telling you, it's hard for the two of them to mesh at the highest level. So what happened in game six two years ago in Oklahoma City in the Western Conference Finals? The Spurs stole that game because down the stretch, Duncan made a huge shot in overtime. A actually, Ginobili made the biggest shot to get it to overtime, a three that got it there. And then what happened? Westbrook and Durant, got in each other's way in overtime. Is it your turn, is it my turn? One missed, the other missed, the other missed, the other missed, and all of a sudden, my Spurs, by default, won that game and advanced to the championship and blew LeBron's team off the floor. My point to you is, if, if you want me to, I'll pick the Spurs this year by default because there, there's some, something will go wrong in Oklahoma City. The Spurs are a better overall basketball team which plays better defense because it's better coached. Now we're looking at a rookie coach in Oklahoma City, a Billy Donovan who comes with the highest marks from anybody who watched college basketball. Everybody has nothing but great things to say about Billy Donovan's potential to be a great NBA coach. But in year one, trying to juggle those two superstars, I don't know, Stephen A. I'm sorry, if it comes to a Western Conference Finals, I'm going with Pop Squad here. Well, I don't blame you for doing that, but I mean, again, my case, um, I think, is valid because we're talking about the greatness of two superstars who, no by doubt. the way, give credit, where, give credit where credit is due. You may have your reservations about them. Other people may have their reservations about them, but these two guys do not, not just about themselves, but about each other. Uh, Kevin Durant, if in the event, if, if, if in the event, that either of them end up leaving Oklahoma City. They'd like to play together, preferably in L.A., from the things that I've been hearing. Yep. So when you take it into consideration, listen, the bottom line is these two guys are close. And it doesn't appear like they are, their relationship is fake or inauthentic in any way. They got a lot of respect and a lot of love for one another. Let's give credit where credit is due. You know, and, and we know what their abilities are. Kevin Durant, when healthy, is the second best player, is universally recognized as the second best player on the planet. Yep. I mean, let's, let's put that in its proper perspective. This dude can score 30 in his sleep. He is, un he is as unstoppable as they come. And we know how vicious Russell Westbrook, Westbrook can be. So the combination of those two guys with Adams and Cantor and DeBacca... I, I don't think that's anything to sniff at. I really, really don't. I look at Oklahoma City as a legitimate threat. San Antonio plausibly should and could end up being the favorites. And we get that. But we never know when Father Time is going to knock on their door. We don't anticipate that for a long time when it comes to Kevin Durant and Russell Westbrook. And, Rus Russell Westbrook. and we know they have the ability, the skill, and the desire to knock off San Antonio. I wouldn't sleep on OKC at all. I think OKC is going to the finals. And I realize my Spurs are old and they're slow and they're unathletic, but somehow, some way, they actually added LaMarcus Aldridge and David West went to the Spurs to take virtually no money when he could have had a whole lot of money to stay in Indiana Indianapolis. And obviously, he just wants to win a ring and he's got a great shot. And I'm going to close my argument. I've got Bobby this year. I've got him. I've got Boban Marjanovic. 
seven feet three inches of Serbian who's going to play mm. high minutes when Tim Duncan well, does it. Serbian so you better be careful because you are overlooking the seven foot three guy right now I am. who could be the catalyst and the difference maker in this case. I am overlooking him, but it ain't just because he's Bobby. That's not the reason. I'm overlooking him because unlike the Clippers, unlike the Memphis Grizzlies, the Oklahoma City Thunder do not have to deal with him. When you have Durant and Russell Westbrook who can kill you away from the basket, you don't have to deal with him. Just like Golden State doesn't have to worry about him. Now, if he's an offensive force and he's going to drop 25 a night for you, that's different. But defensively, even with his size and height and whatever, if you are a perimeter shooting team or capable of being a perimeter shooting team to take you to the promised land, you don't have to worry about him nearly as much as the Clippers or Memphis Grizzlies squad has to worry about him. That's why I'm not concerned. I feel very good about my pick. Thank you very much. Bobby. Mm -hmm. I feel it's very good about Oklahoma City. It's, it's about, about, about Bobby. Bobby, the difference yeah. maker. Listen, history is on your Bobby. first side. 17 Bobby. and 1. See, I knew I'd get a sarcastic Bobby out of him. 17 yeah. and 1 oh. in season openers since Pop took over as head coach. Now, so this, you, this you is, like that stat. Be, but that's going to be. listen to that one. That's, that's in peril tonight. You see, you see I got to tell people? you. I got some eye contact well, there. Hey, hey. <laughs> I, I don't know if they can pull this one off. But hey, as Stephen A always tells me, it's just game one. So I'm not going to read much into. It's just game one. No, let's keep Let's Oklahoma keep the City blood pressure victory. low. It's still yeah. early. All right. It was the shot heard around Kansas City. But did Alex Gordon's home run win the series for the Royals? A little baseball. That's next. Let me see. Who the hell going to stop Russell Westbrook? Steph Curry, I, I, I ain't got nothing but love for you, bro. Nobody can stop you. But you can't stop Russell Westbrook. Chris Paul, a superstar. You, you, you can't stop Russell Westbrook. Tony Parker, oh, no, 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 no. You have no answer for this man. You give me two stars that can put the ball in a hole at will. I'm rolling with them. My pick is Oklahoma City to meet Cleveland in the NBA Finals. Skip and Stephen A's picks for the West face off tonight in OKC when the Thunder host the Spurs on Can't ESPN. Wait. In case you didn't hear me, mm, Bart's got voice. Mm. Stephen A. Convince Skip why you're picking the Thunder over his Spurs in the West, please. Well, first of all, let's understand we don't lie to uh, the American people <laughs> on this show or the folks I internationally do. who view us. Anybody who knows anything about Skip knows there's no convincing him. He's the most hard-headed individual that you'll find. He's got a rock on top of those shoulders mm -hmm. of his. He's not budging. Nobody's going to convince him to see it. No matter how logical, sensible, factual they are, Skip is as hard-headed as they come. There's no convincing him. Let's get that out the no way. No comment. Now that we've done that now that we've done that exercising futility no doubt I will make this case the San Antonio Spurs as lethal and as legitimate as they are are also old now we have said this about them on many occasions and I do get that but at some point in time father time comes knocking and when it hits you when he hits you it's usually minimal warnings that come your way it just hits you, and all of a sudden, you just wake up one day, and you say, damn, I'm just not what I used to be anymore. It's just that simple. You're going up against not only Russell Westbrook, the reigning league scoring champion, and an assassin of the highest order, as ruthless of a basketball killer that exists in the NBA, but then you couple that with a guy in Kevin Durant who only played 27 games last year, still averaged 25, by the way, but only played 27 games, had people questioning whether or not his career was ever going to be the same, wondering himself whether or not he was going to get healthy and be able to play, and now he's back doing his thing. I think that he's going to be hungry. I think Russell Westbrook is going to be hungry. I think Serge Ibaka is one of the elite defensive players in the game. I think the Enos Cantors of the world, Steven Adams of the world, especially Steven Adams, gives you a bad boy, a level of physicality, and a part of Enos Cantor. You've got a guy that can average 18 and 10 for you. I'm looking at their bench. I'm looking at them combined with their youth, their athleticism, their perimeter shooting, their speed, all of those things taken into consideration. I believe, and their familiarity, by the way, 